Good morning, traders. Well, global markets enter the second week of the new year in a bit of a cool down mode uh, with risk assets taking a hit last week after the, that red hot finish of 2023. Uh, the NASDAQ was down almost 4%, having its worst start to a year since 1999. And risk sensitive currencies, the Aussie dollar and Kiwi dollar also are not far behind there. Um, we do have, FX traders do have a slew of CPI readings to look forward to this week. Uh, in, uh, inflation readings out of Switzerland, the US, China and Australia uh, to get uh, real, real potential to get some FX markets moving there. So charts to watch this week, I think is the Aussie dollar, US dollar. They didn't have a great week, um, that pair last week, uh, having its biggest weekly drop since November. So December's surge higher in this pair. It did look like it went a bit too far too fast when you look at those rate differentials between the Aussie and the US 10. Uh, also, the Aussie did hit a, a zone of resistance there between 68 and 69, where sellers did manage to turn it around and uh, start that downtrend going. So this week's Aussie, Chinese and US CPI are uh, all set to cause some volatility in this pair. Uh, it's a key levels to watch the upside. Obviously, that's 68 cents where the resistance zone starts. Um, 67's offered some short-term support to the downside. Uh, dollar index is, uh, had a resurgence this last week uh, to start the year with DXY pushing through those key levels at 101 and 102 with ease. Uh, resistance at 102.57 is where the upside has faltered uh, in December and August 23 as well has, has uh, stopped this up move uh, the, in the last week. So um, that's come into play. A couple of attempts to breach were rejected last week at this level. It also lines up with that 61.8. FIB level that was from the July lows to October highs last year. Uh, so it'll be a key level to watch coming into the US CPI.